What can you tell me about the hotel? Oh, right, yeah, I see. Back me up with a bit of chat and then see if I spill. I said I'd keep quiet. Look, if this is some kind of test, I don't appreciate it, mate. God knows what you lot get up to in there. It's even strange you when you leave. Look, forget the fair, will you? Just get out. We went together. Nice suit. No. No. Baseball cap? <laughs> no. Laughs, you're naked. Do you sit down? No. You follow a bully home from school. The alleyway is dark. You pick up a metal pipe. The house to the left is burning. You run inside. A child, a cat, and their mother are in separate rooms. Who do you save? The bully. You can't save someone you've already murdered, sweetie. Unless... you're after redemption. Perhaps you are worth exploring. Stand speedily. Arms up, sweetie. Let me measure you. Oh, well, do you wish to participate or not? We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to, Why are you measuring? To see if the suit fits, sweetie. It's never just about what we wear, but how we carry it. Do you like what they value? I create all the experiences here at Altide. A clear vision, varied, so that they can find the true core. But lower my core sheet. I just want to find my chameleon. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you all through shortly. Off with you, speedily. Excuse me. I think you should stick with red. By any chance have either of you seen... Well, if you're both stuck in the past, perhaps I should leave you all behind. Well, come back. It's no fun without you.
was wondering if you tried to warn him, they can't be changed or cheated. The receptionist reminds us all with a single look. Except that man at the bar, it seems. Didn't stick around to find out why this time. Let's go find her. She'll be looking for me. My wife. by means of fulfillment. For lovers of literacy and language, I, Jordan Hemlock, am starting a petition to change the terminology of the etiquettes. Ergo, come find me and sign. To all who think the core is sex, all genders welcome. Room 18. Where is room 14? Dawkins did his patience for absence. His timing is perfect, and his presence is constant. The tide is upon you. to stop that too. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I didn't know. The guests are getting together downstairs. <laughs> Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Looking forward to making some new friends. It's been a lonely term. Don't pick me. You don't know me. You're right, Josh Malone. Born 78th Paul and Karen in South London. I don't know you. The fact you left your wife an infant child, that's why I don't want to. Nice. And I suppose you know her better than me, is that it? I know how scared she is. How none of it makes sense. Why me? Why was I taken? Where the hell is the dad when you need him? So yes, I know her better than you. I've been there. But at least she has me looking. You don't trust me. I don't trust anyone. But I'm here. So if you're just gonna stand there, you can at least tell me what you're thinking. There's two choices that make sense. See her in the cute red mask? That's the cleaner. Caught sight of her upstairs. She's gotta know where Eleanor is. Housekeeping's always a good source. Or the big fella. Dorman's bound to know where she's being kept. Probably carried her in. That's what I'm here thinking. Could try sweet-talking her, but he'll need more persuading. And let's question her. As we really need your help. What was that? You want my help? Two begging little bitches. I didn't say good cop, great cop. What did you say? You must see a lot, being the cleaner. We just wanted to know if you knew anything about the girl they mentioned. You want me to describe the view when I'm scrubbing? Please tell us. <sighs> Why didn't you say? My goodness. Can someone help these two? I mean, silver tongue fox you are. Find <laughs> Mum drunk. It sounds terrible, but this doesn't help, Eleanor. Could be long gone. Look at all this stuff. It's labeled room eight to fifty one. It's not just Eleanor he's smuggling. Or she. Well, it could be anyone. You stay. 
find out whose room this is. Don't get confused with shit that isn't theirs. Look for personal stuff. Look, I found one. See, she has lots of friends. This is Grace, Sarah, Emily, and oh, I need to keep reading. Janice, I think. Yes, yes. I'm feeling much better, but I'm not playing any more chess this term. You'll have to wait until the next swell. Besides, I'm not chess leader anymore, as I've been beaten. By the booze, I'll have you know. Not by that pervert. Come back another time if you want to talk. Perhaps when I'm in a better mood. years with delectable canapé and have everyone dancing until midnight. Spirit of the town. But one year, I couldn't find him. Ventured into the pantry, caught him pumping his spirit into the butcher's wife. <laughs> they say the way you spend New Year's is how you see out the year. Mine was truly lonely. That's when I received the invitation. Now, every term I return to his party dressed in a new suit. He doesn't know it's me, of course. But I know exactly what he likes. <laughs> we dance, and I smile, and he flirts. And just as we're about to... in the pantry, I laugh. Tell him what a disgusting man he is, so he knows how I felt. Look, I'm really sorry about this, but we just don't have time. How rude! We are who we say we are. We have measured we have fitted. The swell night dawns, and with it, the beginning of a new tide. Bring out the new verse.
Should anybody here give any reason why this girl should not be given to Dr. Aniston for the means of the call? Speak now. Introducing our newest verse. I'm sure you're rather surprised, Mr. Miller. I'm not so sure. It would seem Mr. Malone became suspicious some time ago, even of me. Then our analysis of you is correct. Unable to trust even those willing to help. You weren't even worried about her, Eleanor. Your core has been found empty, Mr. Malone. So consumed by self, you left your wife and infant child. It was only when I reached out you even knew she existed anymore. You see, we're not liars, kidnappers, or murderers. We live by a code of etiquette, seeking an admirable cause that would help the world over. I dare say that you could not say the same. An empty shell. And though our number are invited, it sometimes requires new suits to continue our cause. Your suit has been chosen. No! You've learned nothing. Still running away from what's right in front of you. Such a gift should not be wasted. I'll try his suit first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I... I've made a discovery. You. You stand as a shining example of how we all have the ability to change. The thing in our way is the want. Perhaps in part, that's the meaning. To never settle. Goodbye, Mr. Malone. No! 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 Fist on come 